I'm going to play for you a sequence that demonstrates uh, all the categories, the basic categories. Open backup, what I call walking bass backup, melodic style, midneck, playing out of the midneck. And then there'll be an open backup sequence in between the fancy ones, and I'll try to get fancier as I go. So this sequence fits one of the most common chord progressions. So let me bring little Arkansas in. You ready to pick? Yep. <laughs> oh, gosh. You sure you're ready? Okay, we're going to be at 108 beats a minute. Okay. We're going to start with the vocal song kickoff, and we're going to end with the instrumental ending. So that's the scenario, little Arkansas. You ready? Yep. Okay, now let's play for the people. Here is the sequence, folks, and then I'll explain some of these things you're about to see. Begin. One, two, three, four. Arkansas, you done good, buddy. Yep. Okay, now just sit there and relax. Let me finish this out. Now, what you just saw was a long sequence of some of, not all of, the various kinds of backups, the categories that are on the website and in the library, Banjo Tab Library. Uh, for example, the melodics, you'll know melodics when you get there. <laughs> Okay, that was one section, that was one, two, three, that was the uh, fourth time through. Walking bass is the chord stuff. <laughs> That's what I call it. And in, the, in that section, you'll learn to use what I call the first inversion and the second inversion major full hand chords and the various licks that enable you to play this kind of stuff. And that's walking bass and that is fun stuff. Now the other thing was the midneck. The midneck is not a mystery. Playing in the midneck G card is really a lot of fun and just have some basic card motions. 
Uh, some of the stuff I've created is a little bit fancier. And I hope that you'll enjoy learning out of the section, which is mid-neck G. So that's walking bass. Melodics. And then mid-neck G. And then the open areas in between, I was just playing basic, I won't say basic, but real backup. Remember now, the most fun you'll ever have with your banjo is playing in jam sessions with other people. In all these categories, which you'll find on the website, will help you in learning how to play backup. And also, you'll notice we don't do anything without the metronome. I discovered using the metronome for my own personal self in 1980. And it was such a revelation because I had played a lot of years without the metronome and my timing stunk. And when I first started using the metronome in 1980, things really began to change and they will for you too. Because banjo tab, we don't do anything without the metronome, as you will see. And the metronome will help you with A, the left hand, and mainly with the right hand and the spacing of the actual picking. The metronome will teach you to have bounce in your picking, what I call playing in front of the beat or ahead of the beat, which is a phrase I heard many, many years ago and didn't have the slightest idea of what it meant. So, once again, I'm Tony Ulrich, Houston, Texas. This is fivestringbanjo.com, and read on through, and I hope that each of you will sign up and become a subscriber. And remember, once you subscribe, you username and your password, you get into the library, and you can stay there all you want to, move from lesson to lesson, and that's where the fun will come in. So, keep your music fun. Let's pick the banjo.